The number one medications to avoid in order to keep your vocal cords healthy are non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen, naproxen, and aspirin. I still have six more for you, but let me tell you why you should stay away from non-steroidal anti-inflammatories first. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatories are blood thinners that may cause vocal hemorrhage when paired with intense vocal use. I would stay away from these at least 48 hours before long periods of vocal practice and or performances. If you have pain, take acetaminophen, again, which is the brand name is Tylenol, because this one doesn't have any side effects for the voice at least. Second medication to avoid, antihistamines and decongestants. These are used for allergies and nasal congestion, but cause dryness of the mouth and throat, affecting the vocal cords that may result in hoarseness, sore throat, or laryngitis. Third, muscle relaxants. These may give you acid reflux because of the relaxation of the muscles around the esophageal junction. The reflux itself will irritate the vocal folds. Fourth, androgen hormones or oral contraceptives. Yes, ladies, you have to watch out for these and make sure that they are right for you. Oral contraceptives may cause fluid buildup in the vocal cords, which could affect the vocal quality. Androgens, such as testosterone, can also cause increased bulk in the vocal cords, which could in turn make them less able to hit those very high notes that were previously very easy to do. Talk to your doctor if you're having any of these symptoms and they will let you know if you should change the medication or if the benefits of the medication outweigh the side effects. Have you experienced vocal quality change while taking any medications? Please let me know in the comments below. Number five, and this one is not a drug, are soluble vitamins A, D, and E. The majority of people don't know that vitamins are not always safe. When they're taking above the normal dose for an extended period of time, these can cause blood thinning, which in turn may uh, produce a vocal hemorrhage. Remember that these side effects are more likely to occur when you pair them up with intensive vocal use. Six, we have diuretics. Diuretics such as spironaldactone or spironaldactone, which is a cardiovascular diuretic, is sometimes prescribed for people with acne, like myself, for instance. And at the time, I didn't know this medicine did that, and I did have some vocal changes. So I'm letting you know now before it happens to you. Like antihistamines, these um, can have a drying effect on the mucous membranes that may cause hoarseness, laryngitis, and voice changes. This brings me to a very important point, is that whenever you see any type of doctor and they're going to prescribe you medication, you really need to let your doctor know that you're a singer, you're a professional singer, and that med some medications may dry out your throats and you wanna make sure that the medication that they have prescribed you doesn't do that. Number seven, inhaled bronchodilators. These can sometimes dry or irritate tissues in the mouth and throat, leading to voice changes again or laryngitis. If your doctor recommends an inhaled steroid for asthma, make sure to follow the instructions on how to use them. One thing that you can do to minimize the side effects of the inhalers is to rinse your mouth and gargle with water after you use the medication. If you experience changes in vocal quality after using any medication, the first thing that you should do is to contact your physician, the physician who prescribed the medication, or consult an ear, nose, and throat doctor. Suddenly stopping medications may have very serious side effects and should not be done without professional consultation. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button down below to keep up with my tips and techniques that I post weekly. For more information on vocal health and singing, please check out these two videos right here. Remember to keep singing and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.